okay this video I will show you uh, how you can apply the wider screen patch for Warosaki 3's characters I mean CVS uh, character uh, I will use this uh, Vega which is Bison and Cookie which is Akuma and as an example so you see they works perfectly fine under Morgan 1.1 on a uh, narrow screen but you turn to wide screen and this power bar is missing for Vega for this cookie I already applied the patch if you pay attention uh, for my previous video so you can download his character here uh, link will be in description after you find and locate the character folder for example, we are going to target this CVS Vega. So let's go in. So the first thing I recommend is you change every text file to UTFA, uh, to Unicode, which is UTFA. I recommend is obviously Notepad plus plus. Okay, and this is a must-have tool for every Windows user, I think. So we are going to select every text file any cns file text file txt file if you cannot see this dot something something that means you uh, the setting is wrong you click this view options view and check all these things so cns text cns air is also a text file cmd is a text file cns def sff is not this is a picture file this is sound this def is a text def is a text and cmd is a text cns df txt 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 and CNS okay I believe I, I already select all the text file except picture sound picture so let's drag all the files into notepad plus plus so the thing we want to do is uh, you, maybe you see here the Japanese can be displayed properly uh, but if you open fi in fighter factory it will be not so we are going to deal with uh, because I believe maybe not everyone is using a Japanese uh, windows so we are going to change all the file into UTF-8 so it will be not coupled in any environment so the thing is you if you see Japanese then it's okay just just click convert to UTF-8 born if you see Japanese convert UTF-8 born see here changes here also have to be changed convert UTF-8 born if you see here is shift JIS that means Japanese encoding and here too Uh, yes, I think one of them is not in Japanese encoding. I'm not sure whether it's encoded Japanese or not. So if it's not, uh, if it's not showing Japanese encoding, I suggest you change to Japanese. Change to Japanese because I don't know whether this, there is a Japanese character here or not. Then you convert to UTF-8. And there is another situation. You see this text file, and clearly this is not Japanese. This is garbled Chinese or Japanese, whatever. You see the encoding is NC, which is not right. It should be read as Japanese. So if you convert to UTF-8 with this 
and it will still be garbled. You must make sure it's not garbled, then you convert to UTFA. So we are going to set the correct encoding, which is Japanese. And if display as Japanese, then you convert to UTFA. Okay, I think I already covered all of them. So let's save all. Click this button, save all. Then we can close all of them. So we are going to open Fighter Factory, which is the Vega. So you see there's a multiple DEF file. Actually, we can uh, focus on this one first, and later you have to change all of this. So you see the Japanese character is displayed properly because we changed to UTF-8. Now here, the second step is movement version. Make sure you change to 1.1 and save. Here, we are going to change this groove.cns and I will upload a patched one. I will copy this file from my group. Guki, which is Akuma, to here and just replace this file and it should be now the menu will be auto adapt and another thing is the AI, AI. so if we don't change it will use the A, uh, old uh, AI activation asset we are going to use the new one since we are using 1.1 the benefit of using the new one is the AI can be turned on instantly and being switched off uh, the old one uh, it will have a delay for turn on and it cannot be switched off so click this joystick button and we'll search for uh, 59 Yes, here you see a block of code, it looks like this. So now you are going to make it look like this. So you add one trigger and says um, mm. a knot is. Help her and var 59 is not 1 and the runner state is 2 uh, and you give it a trigger 1 AI level so basically what it says is when this thing is not a helper and the AI switch is not enabled okay I think I use this kind of thing. This one fifty nine is have no value is zero and it's in fighting states and uh, actually the AI should be on and turn on the AI and we are going to say this part is AI on and we are going to create another one called AI off. So basically we are saying if the AI switch having a value is which is on but it actually is off and we are going to delete this one and say it's if you don't know what this means you just copy okay then this character will be 1.1 1 .1, uh, compatible let's give it a try you see now we are in the wider screen the menu is here and then behave normally
and the AI can be turned on immediately. If I turn on the AI, and I can turn off the AI immediately. You see, I gain control again. And this is the benefit for 1.1. The older Morgan cannot do this. Once it's on, it cannot turn it off. Then we are going to go back and check the narrow screen performance because it's not a wider screen patch, it's auto adapt patch. So it should work on both narrow screen and the wider screen. You see the position is correct. So it will auto adapt the screen ratio. And another thing I forgot to mention is uh, because this Vega have multiple DAF file. So you see you have this normal DAF file we already deal with, we changed to 1.1. .1. And we have other DAF file like this EX. So you can also do it, just say 1.1 .1 and save. And there's another one, normal, you can say 1.1, .1. okay. And there's another one, which is the AI patch, you can also say 1.1. .1. 